So in this coding video, we're gonna look at how through code, we can trigger this is pause variable to be true, and then that will automatically play our animation. So in order to get started, where does this code belong? Well, it belongs wherever you hit the P key. So for me, where do we hit the P key? It's in the game manager, right? The game manager is checking if you hit the P key, and then we enable that, uh, we enable the panel and it plays the animation or it, uh, you can go from there, just enables it. What we wanna do instead of just enabling it is we need to actually play the animation. So in our code, hop down to where our P key is, which is right down here. And what we're doing here is we say, if we hit the P key, pause menu panel dot set active is true, and then we say time dot time scale equals zero. Well, instead of that, what we wanna do is when we hit the P key, we need to basically access our animator and we want to set that bool uh, to true. So the way we do that is if we actually open up the scripting reference and go to the animator, you can see here all of the publicly available methods for the animator. Now, there are some methods here that are in particular really useful for us. So for instance, we're working with those parameters, right? So under these public methods, these are things that we can actually control using our animation. So as we scroll down here, there are about three or four methods, maybe six methods, honestly, that, that are actually really useful here. And there's these set methods. So we have set bool, set float, and then we also have um, set trigger, and there should be a set bool. Okay, I'm sorry, there is a set bool. So these are actually connected to those parameters. And you can see here that the set bool parameter sets an animator bool parameter. And if we open that up, we should be able to see an example of how this works. The description says it sets an animator, use animator.setBool, and then we can pass in a value to it. So you can see here, here's the syntax for it. We'll say set bool, we can get the animation name and then a value. And so for us, that's going to be set bool. The animation name, I believe is the, uh, it is, the panel that, or the name of the animation, and then we'll set it to true when we hit the P key. So here's an example of how this works. We need a reference to the animator. You can see they fetch the animator. So we need a reference to the animator component of our pause menu, and then we assign the reference to the animator component. The handle gets assigned. And then in here, you can see here that uh, what they're doing is they are saying anim.setBool the animation name is jump, so for us that would be like the pause animation panel, and then they choose what value to set it to. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So let's head back into our code. And what we need to do is we need a handle onto our animation system. So we'll hop in here and we'll go ahead and create a private underscore, oops, sorry, private animator, because that's the component I want. So private animator underscore anim, and we'll call it pause anim. Pause animator actually. Okay, so we have our pause animator handle or variable. And now what we need to do in void start, we need to assign that. So here we're gonna say underscore pause animator is going to equal, we're gonna find the game object that we're looking for, which is going to be our pause menu panel. And then once we find that object, we need to grab a component off it. And the component we want is the animator component. So now that we have an access point to that animator, we can now set that, that bool parameter through code. And once again, just to show you, that bool parameter is this. So we created this parameter and we're accessing it through code and we're gonna set the value to true. Now in order to do this, I believe I need the animation name, which is pause menu animate, which is here. So I'm gonna copy that, hop back into our code And let's go ahead and let's hop down to where we hit the P key. So instead of, I do wanna set the menu to active, which is fine. And then the next thing I wanna do is I want to actually animate it. So how can we do that? Well, we're gonna say animator, pause animator, dot set bool, the name of the animation. We have two options, I can do it by the ID or I can do it by the animation name. So I'm gonna do string animation name, which is pause menu animate, and the value is gonna be set to true. And I showed you in the previous video that when that, bool is, when that bool is true, it automatically animates. So we're gonna save our script here. Let's head back into Unity and let's give this a go. Go ahead and run this. 
I'm going to hit the P key. And you're going to see that nothing happened. Now, the reason why nothing happened is because we're still pausing the game. So here, we set time scale equal to zero. And that obviously pauses the game. Let's go ahead and just actually comment that out real quick and just make sure that our animation is still working. So I'm going to comment that out. Let's rerun the game. Let's hit the P key. And you'll see here that actually nothing is happening. So that means that we have an improper handle onto our pause menu system. So basically what I want to do is figure out what is incorrect with this handle. So if we open up our script here, here's the pause menu panel. I think I found the game object okay. I need to hop into here. And I believe that the set bool pause menu anime is incorrect. So I don't think it's pulling the animation name from there. I think it's actually pulling the actual animation clip, which is this guy. So let's copy this name, pause menu animation. Head back to our code, set that, save. Let's go ahead and run this, rerun Unity. And I'm going to hit the P key and still nothing. So why is this is pause value not becoming true? Works there. Let's look at our code. Wow, okay, I apologize guys. This is actually really, really simple. So I was actually putting in the name of the animation. That's not what we wanna do. This is the parameter name. So here we're setting is paused to true. So we're gonna say is capital P paused and we're gonna put that in here. So we're gonna say is paused and then we're setting that parameter to true. My mistake. All right, let's take this out. Go ahead and run Unity. And now you'll see here, when I hit the pause button, we have our animation slide in. Now let's go ahead and re-add back the time, time stamp that we're basically controlling here, time.time scale. Go ahead and save this. And we're gonna have a problem here. Basically, I believe the way time.timescale works is it pauses everything including animations. So if I hit P now, you're gonna see that nothing's gonna happen because the, the game is paused and the animation system runs off, of, runs off of the logic of how fast our game is moving. So if our game, is set, if our game time is set to zero, our animation speed is going to be zero. So we have a problem here that we need to now head over to Google and look at how to resolve. Head on over to Google and let's figure out how to basically, let's see, how to animate pause menu in Unity is basically what we're trying to do. And you'll see here that animation and pause menus is that the problem here is that it runs off of the, the time scale. Now, after doing some reading here, let's keep going into here. I'm not looking for a custom solution. I think there's something that Unity provides us. And you'll see here that after just reading a little bit, we should see an answer that looks pretty helpful. Let's see here. The animator has an update mode called unscaled time. So how to pause menu with animating buttons. And if we go to this here, it looks like the update mode of the animator and we can change this. So here, the current default is that the Animator works off of the normal update, which is basically our normal time scale. But what we have here is unscaled time. The animator updates independently of time.timescale. That's exactly what we want. So here we can basically say animator update mode dot unscaled time. Now there's no reference here on how to use this. However, by typing this, it should tell us exactly how to use it. So let's hop back into our code. Let's go to void start. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna access the animator. I'm gonna say pause animator dot update mode and you can see here that we can get and set the update mode so i'm going to say update mode equals and it should automatically add it for me i can say animator update mode and it's an enum anytime there's an enum here it means that there's a selection so i can say animator update mode dot and i have three selections so i'm going to choose unscaled time let's save this hop back into unity and let's see if our problem is resolved All right, go ahead and run the game. 
Let's hit the P key. And you'll see here that the time scale is set to zero and our main menu still works. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to re I'm gonna stop my game, I'm gonna re-enable my title screen, and let's go ahead and actually get some moving elements on screen so that we can actually see this. Let's go ahead and shoot around here. All right, I'm gonna hit the P key. Everything paused, our pause menu slides out, I can choose to re resume or go back to the main menu, and everything works as normal. And I can do it again. And actually, there was a bug there. So to fix that issue when we, when we run this and we pause it multiple times, so here it's fine. And then if I hit resume, it's fine. But if I hit pause again, it shows up here and then plays. The reason for that is because it has what's called an exit time, which basically I believe is what's happening here is it plays till the end of the animation and there's no instructions for what happens next because we're not telling it to do anything else. So what we're going to do here is on the animation itself, if you actually click on the animation in the animator view, you'll see here, or I'm sorry, on the transition of the animation, you'll see here that it has an exit time. If we uncheck this, watch what happens when I hit resume. And then if I pause it again, now every time I hit resume, it disappears. And if I hit P, it starts the animation over. Basically has exit time is expecting it to transition to another animation, but we don't have that. So we hit resume, it disappears, and we play the animation over from the beginning. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the pause menu and I'll see you in future extended content.